right, everybody, we are live. And uh, yeah, let's take another look at the market. Check out these stats. This graph is awesome. I love taking a look at this graph, just getting a macro view of what's going on sales wise in the market. And I know I've had a couple questions this month, you know, asking about average sales price, average days on the market, new homes, pending homes, closed sales, things like that. Let's take a look at the data. Let's see what's going on. So in the entire MLS, and MLS OK is huge. It's huge. It, it goes down to, uh, it goes down past Purcell. It goes all the way up to the Stillwater area. Um, and then it, and then it, northeast, it goes east, it goes past Stroud, you know, Stroud, Bristow area, kind of. Um, and then when you're going west, it goes over to the El Reno area, even further out than that. I've seen some listings in Hinton, even out far that way. So MLS OK is huge. So when you're looking at your average sales price and your median sales price, just keep that in mind, the, the area. And then we're going to break it down by Edmond. We're going to break it down by Oklahoma City. We're going to break it down by Guthrie also. So January stats, guys, they are out. The entire MLS average sales price was $198,784. And that is a little bit shy from where it was last year or last month. Last month, we were looking at 210000 for the entire MLS. And then when we go down and look at the different um, neighborhoods, when we look at the different neighborhoods, Edmonds average sales price was 306000 Oklahoma City's sales price was uh, not neighborhoods, but cities. When we look at Oklahoma City's average sales price is 186000 And then when you look at Guthrie's average sales price is 160. Thousand for the month month of January, January last month. So when you are looking at this data and you're thinking, okay, that's great data. Well, how long does it take for a house to sell in those areas? So let's go ahead and take a look at the average days on market for those areas, and they're all looking pretty darn close. The entire MLS, the average days on market is only 50 days in Edmond. It's 52 days in Oklahoma City. It's 39 days. And in Guthrie, it's 41 days. So comparing that to last year, sellers are starting to price their houses far more competitively where they need to be at so that they can sell their properties in a timely fashion. Comparing that to last year, it is down 18% for the entire MLS, down 14% for Edmond, down 25% in Oklahoma City, and down 43% in Guthrie. And remember, that's days on market. That's not price. Let's go back to price real quick. And prices are a little down in Oklahoma City and Guthrie, but in the entire MLS, they're holding where they were at year over year. And in Edmond, they're up 1.2% year over year. So that's some good information. So uh, some people like to use price per square foot as an indicator of value. Um, value is in the eye of the beholder, and then the appraisal protects the banks. So the, hey, Evan, it's so good to see you there, Evan. Um, hope you're getting some good information out of this. And then when, it, when it's done, of course, everyone can go back and watch it later, and I'll get this uploaded on all the video channels. But um, looking at the entire MLS, average price per square foot is at $102 a square foot, guys. $102 a square foot. I remember when I first got into real estate and Edmund was selling for $86 a square foot. We were like, wow, that's awesome. And look what's happened over the uh, last 13 years. It's jumped up over $100 a square foot in the entire MLS. So Edmund's now at $120. Two dollars a square foot. That is crazy. That means it's gone up 40, 40%, 50%. It's gone up 50% since I first got in. Wow, that's awesome. Um, Oklahoma City is at $100, $101 a square foot. And then Guthrie is at $91 a square foot on average. So um, that gives you a good indicator of how the market's doing. And you can see these bar graphs were kind of holding true to where we were last year. Um, so market in general, there's four types of the market. There's the seller's market, the buyer's market, the rental market, and the investor market. So just depending on what specific product you're looking to sell or what specific product you're looking to purchase, 
you're always going to have different stats, but just a general macro overview of the market. These are some good stats to just know off the top of your head so you know how the real estate market's doing here in Oklahoma. All right, guys, be sure to like the video, um, like the business page. Oh, yeah, I've got, I got a gift. I got a, I got a prize. I got a prize. Let me, let me see if I can switch the camera over. No, I can't. Okay, I'll have to do another video. But giving away another mug this year, um, this month, giving away a mug this month. Let's go ahead and just do it on this video right here. Be sure to like this video, share it on your own page, and then um, is it called direct message me? Direct message me your best email address, and then I'll accumulate all those uh, email addresses over the next week. And we'll do a we'll do a video on who won. Uh, let's give away two. Let's give away two. We'll give away two. These are 30 ounce double steel wall mugs that we have here, and we're going to give away two of them next Friday. So be sure to share the video, let everybody know how the real estate market's doing, like the video, and then direct message me your best email address so I can raffle out the winners. All right, two mugs being given away this week. Thanks for watching this market update for this month for, for the January sales. You guys, if you're thinking about selling a home, selling some land, give me a call. 405-315-7965. Here to help. You guys have a great day, and thanks so much for your business.